So I just want to do a quick review of this Rotring 600 ballpoint. This is the re-released model of uh, that's based on the original 600 ballpoint, which I have back here. And these are sold in Japan over the past couple weeks. Uh, they sell for about maybe about $35 to $40 in the US. It's a little difficult to find a retailer, but you can get them through eBay and a few different places like pencils.jp. Uh, and again, about $35, $40 is uh, not an insubstantial amount, but is a really good deal compared to what a uh, Rotring 600 ballpoint will cost you if you buy the original neural version. And that may be 80 or to $100, depending on the condition and if it comes with the box and things like that. So I picked this up to kind of compare it to the old one and then also just to have day to day as I really like this pen. It's just a great ballpoint. I really enjoy the whole line. Uh, so here's the box that come in, comes in. It's just very simple. Rotring 600 ballpoint. Uh, pen goes in there, very limited instructions. Uh, it's really similar to the box that the Rotring 800 comes in, which I previously did a video on. So uh, here's the pen itself. It's uh, like the original 600 in almost all ways. So it's a brass body with uh, a lot of texture, uh, this sort of matte black or matte-ish black. It seems more heavily textured than the originals used to be, but uh, you know, fairly true to the original. It says Rotring 600, uh, which not all of the originals did. The, uh, the heavier branding is more, uh, more in line with some of the newer models and the originals didn't have it so in your face, generally speaking. And again, there's a lot of different varieties and some are sold by sub vendors like Levenger. So saying all these things are hard and true isn't always that easy. Again, so this is a click retractable. The Rotring 600 Gold Twist retractable is now called the Rotring 800. And again, I already did a video on that, so we'll leave that uh, for another day. The uh, this is the push retractable, so it has a button here. Nice mechanism. Feels a lot like the original, a little bit heavier, but this one's been clicked tens of thousands of times, so it's hard to tell. Uh, you do have the knurled top, but whereas the original has uh, a indicator here where you could change it and show what color you have there, the, the new one has dropped that feature. This knurling here is not uh, doesn't twist. I don't know why that was changed, but it's a little bit disappointing because that's one of the cooler features. I'm sure it was just cost a cost cutting measure. Still has the stiff clip that the Rotring 600s had. The clip is, it can be moved, but you have to be careful moving it, which can scratch up the body. I would recommend just generally not moving it. Uh, as for the knurling, that's been slightly changed. It's a little bit, it seems a little bit finer than it used to be. And of course, it, of course it's quite sharp. Not sharp, like it hurts you, but you could feel a lot of grip here. Whereas the uh, the knurling on the old ones, they uh, it wore out very quickly. So uh, you could feel this. It is, or I could feel it, and it's much softer feeling than when I bought it. But also to look at the two, it just seems like a coarser knurl on the old model, and uh, I think you could tell that this one is coarser. The rest of the features are really similar. Uh, it's still a ballpoint, obviously. The, uh, the body width and all those things are about the same. The clips are very similar. The logo, uh, I think is the same, or the same-ish. Might be a little bit more, a little bit better defined on the old one, but that might just has, have to do with the, the finish on the silver versus the black. That's hard to tell. These new blacks do seem to have a heavier and uh, kind of a grippier powder coated type finish, whereas the old ones seem a lot smoother. But again, some of that is gonna be due to age and some of it is gonna be due to changes over time. It's hard to tell, which I don't have a new old stock lying around. So the biggest difference will be that this area here does not twist. Past that, it's a really similar pen compared to the original. Even the click mechanism is pretty true to the original feeling. If you open it up, you can see it's a super simple design. It's just a spring in the metal bottom. And then you have a 
roach ring ballpoint cartridge. This happens to be the black 1.0 millimeter, which they call, I guess, a medium. And these things are fine, not that great, uh, but they last forever and they write on pretty much any surface. I would definitely recommend uh, putting something better in there, but if you love the ballpoint, you know, true ballpoint, then it's hard to go wrong with this one. And this thing writes fine. It is a, it's a Rotring 600. Again, just very standard ballpoint. Gets the job done, can't really complain. So uh, yeah, that is the Rotring 600. If you always wanted one of these pens, uh, being able to get one new in great condition, like just perfect condition for $40, is a really phenomenal, and I would definitely recommend people go ahead and pick one up. Uh, the old ones, again, one of my favorite pens of all time, but not, you know, having them cost 60 or 80 or $100 is kind of a bummer, so this is just a great opportunity. And I don't know how many they're making, uh, but I made sure to pick one up, even though I don't technically need one, just so I don't have to worry about mine so much. So I'm a big, big fan of the 600. I think the reviews are still out on the 800, just because it's a lot more expensive going to be getting up towards about a hundred dollars. Uh, and it's, uh, in some ways a lot worse than the 600, just a more complex mechanism, no click obviously. So, uh, I would say the 600 is the way to go. It's quite true to the original with one or two minor shortcomings and just a nice pen overall. So, uh, yeah, big fan of the Rotring 600, highly recommended. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll be doing some more comparisons with these in the future. So, uh, if you do have some interest, like the video and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching.